So, hello guys, welcome to Survival Russia. Today's midweek video here is gonna be about da -da -da, the Siberian winter hunting boots. So, the Siberian winter hunter boots are the winter version of the Siberian summer hunter boots. Surprise, surprise. Uh, these I done a video on in the spring here. These are really, really awesome boots. So, I have many requests of showing these boots because, as you most likely have seen, I worn these a lot, lot actually in all my videos uh, for a long, long time. I actually also wanted to show you these boots here. So, uh, so here they are. The boots here are rated from plus 10 to minus 40. The summer boots here are rated for minus 10 to plus 40. The boots here are made by a Siberian family business. It's a father and a son. They are professional hunters and back in the 90s or early 2000s or something like that, they were like thinking that, yeah, there's not really much good equipment available and so on. And if it's good, then it's expensive. So they started their own business and they have a really cool business running today. They also make the hunter skis that many of you guys have been uh, been asking me about. So uh, please check the links to Poskriakov, as the family business is called. It'll be in the description box, of course. But yeah, it's a father and son. Poskriakovs or Poskriakovi, uh, if you want to say it in Russian. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the boot here. As you can see, it's a, it's a rather nice leather boot. The boot here is a single layer leather boot and has a inner a felt liner, wool felt liner. Really awesome. And it can of course be pulled out, so let's do that and the boot will of course collapse. You can see on the front tongue here, you also have a felt liner stitched to the, to the tongue of the boot. And that tongue will of course overlap over here, right? The sole is the normal sole that you can see on the other boots also. It's flat, it has a really nice pattern, digs well into the snow. And these boots of course fit perfectly into the Russian hunter skis, especially the hunter skis that uh, the guys make themselves, right? By the way, my wife has the female version in a fancy white color here. They also come in red and blue and whatnot. And before we go any further, if anybody has any questions about these nuclear missile domes behind me, then go and look at my channel and look up the Star Wars domes because I already made a video of this. So yeah, that's out of the way then. What I like about the, the products is that their products, they perform as they are advertised to perform, <laughs> which is a rather rare these days. You can see the boot here, as, as I said, is, it's, it's rated for minus, down to minus 40 Cs. And uh, you can say, yeah, the liner is not super heavy and so on. And I've tested these boots thoroughly in minus 20, minus 30, minus 40 and below. And, uh, and, and they work as long as you move. As long as you are moving or like semi-active around camp or something like this, then in minus 20, 30 and so on, 40, they keep your feet warm. What is really important is that they keep your feet dry. And that's what they also advertise on their website, that they say they will keep your feet dry for days if you're wearing them for days. As you can see, they're laced boots, but as you most likely can see down here on the foot, I hardly, I hardly tie the laces down, almost nothing. And I'm not, and I don't tie them too much here either all the way up because what you want is that you want the condensation and to be able to escape from the boots and you want a little bit of airflow and uh, this you certainly get in these boots i don't have wet feet do you have wet feet in yours no no so so that's what i mean they 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 work as advertised they say also that you so of course take into consideration that some people are more likely to freeze on the feet than others, you know, because of uh, circulation and this and that. So what they say is that the, the hunters, if they want to, to have a, a warmer boot, they will order it at least one size bigger and use an extra heavy wool sock in the boots and the, they will be much warmer, which I 
believe they will. Mine, they fit me sort of like perfect. I have, uh, I can use them with one heavy wool sock or a thin wool sock with a medium thick wool sock, which I'm wearing right now. I'm standing here in minus 20 C and uh, I can feel the cold a little bit on the foot, but as soon as I begin to move around, no problem. They're super light also which is a which is a big advantage but uh, as i said if you if you're looking for boots that 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 you can simply just stand around in and do nothing then this is definitely not the boots in minus 10 they are very very good of course but uh, if it's minus 20 30 40 it's a good idea to be moving around a little bit the son from the from the company he says that he can he can be out and he can stand and wait for game in like one and a half, one and a half hour, didn't he say something like that? Two and a half, two up and to half, two and a half. Up to two and a half hours before he started to freeze. And that's of course, uh, that of course depends on the person, right? As you can see, there are no grommets or anything in the in this piece of uh, leather here where the where the laces go through. So the so the so the holes they stretch a little bit. But you can see they are not digging their way out through the th through the leather, and this is of course also because I don't tie them really that hard, and they are not meant to be tied hard. So they are really nice boots to 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 use for everything. I mean, also these ones here, I use them for everything. I even use them in the winter just with a heavy wool sock. My wife can testify to that. <laughs> yeah, true. I think the boots weigh 750 grams a piece, meaning 1.4 kilos uh, for both of them which is uh, quite light for a warm winter boot, I'll say. So guys, I hope you like this short little video about the Siberian Winter Hunter boots and uh, please check the links in the description to Poskodakovs. Also for you guys who are interested in the Hunter skis because I have had a ton of questions about Hunter skis. Check the website out and I know they ship abroad so, uh, so that might be an option for you guys. Please check the links in the description as I said. Sub share, subscribe, sub bell and sub like and all that good stuff. And until next time, get out and train, get it done. And see you next time here in wonderful, wonderful wintertime Russia. Thank you for your time guys.